Chloe, you're alive, yes. Oh yeah, now you suddenly want to kiss me? You had your chance. I'm just, I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. And I do have a gun now. Keep it in your pants. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. Unless you want to hang out with him after you stood up for his ass yesterday. Oh, please. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. This is a serious expose on the Prescotts. Finally. Yes, Chloe Price was here. I'm getting lost in all this shit. This butterfly photo seems like a million years ago. How much time have I altered since? The most expensive restaurant in town? David knows how to get on Joyce's good side. Looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. If there is one. 
Sorry, but this is my official man cave, so no girls allowed. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Hey, Max. I do appreciate you standing up for me. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? Sorry, but this is my official man cave, so no girls allowed. Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, Max. Do not touch mm -hmm. one goddamn thing. Mm -hmm. Come on, Max. Find a way to get David out of his cave. Hey, Max, I do appreciate you standing up for me. I can't let David see me while I snag his keys. Enter the ninja. Son of a bitch! I just fixed that fuse box! Shit! Somebody fix the fuse! I give up, William, but defend David? <sighs> Would Chloe hate me if she... Gotcha. Those poor whales are like beached angels. What is going on here? Sorry, but this is my official man cave, so... David will not no leave if I ask allowed. him nicely, so... I need to create a major distraction. Anything I can do for you, Max? I... I was just waiting for Chloe to get out of the bathroom so we can go. I owe you one. So I'll pretend what you just said is true, Missy. Excuse me. That's Miss Caulfield. Yes, sir. You and Chloe still better be careful where you wander. There are a lot of dark places in Arcadia Bay. What do you mean by dark places? I can't tell you everything that's going on at Blackwell. And you've seen too much already, so please stay out of this, Max. Too late. I already know way too much. Like the fact that you might be working for Sean Prescott. What? Who told you that? Nathan Prescott? That little shit-ass is lucky he didn't get suspended. I don't think luck had anything to do with it. I could have been suspended, too. And you got me fired, so we're even. Almost. So, are you gonna tell me why you think I'm working for Sean Prescott? No, David. But I know how powerful the Prescott family is. And you're working with them. I guess I wouldn't trust me either. But I will never 
work for Sean Prescott and his fucked up family. Anyway, I think we can both agree it's been a hard week on all of us. Especially poor Kate Marsh. Too bad nobody helped her when she needed it. You tried to help her more than anybody, Max. I sure didn't. Plus, I left that goddamn dorm roof wide open. I knew Kate was feeling desperate. You even made it to the roof before me or anybody. I knew Kate was desperate too. So did Mr. Jefferson. That guy is an elitist prick. And I'm off duty so I can say it at home behind his back. Like when Chloe calls me step douche. These artists live in a fantasy world. Why do you say that? These art farts are all about themselves. When I was in the service, I hated the photographers who tried to pose me in their anti-war bullshit. Well, Blackwell Academy is a school for artists, so maybe this isn't the best place for you. I have a family here, Max, and I think Blackwell is the best place for me, since only I know what's happening. That's why I'm working out the new Blackwell surveillance plan to protect future students so they don't end up like Rachel Amber and Kate Marsh. Although, you're like a walking surveillance system. I appreciate you standing up for me, but I have to be a hard ass and tell you and Chloe to stay the hell out of this. Things are just gonna get more ugly. Chloe and I can take care of ourselves. Now excuse me, Max. I have to get back to my camera. See? I'm an artist too. Oh. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. Hey, Max. I do appreciate you standing up for me. I am the key master. Notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Score. Back to Chloe now. Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. It's Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus there's some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. Now let's go find out what Nathan is hiding in his room. We have to be extra careful. Max. Now it's time for Nathan Prescott to be afraid of us. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yo. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're alright? It's weird just 
being on campus like everything's normal. I know, lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party, so I hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend, and I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. <laughs> Nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot floor teacher. Gross! You're out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Hey! Justin, it it's been yet? so long since I've seen you. Because you're way too cool for us now, Chloe. Way too much shit going on now. Sweet Kate. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Sad. Makes me mad. Climate change isn't real my ass. I think everything is changing here. As a scientist, I'm fascinated. As Michelle Grant, I'm very worried. Arcadia Bay is scared too. Look at the weather. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. And I swear, it's not about that petition you didn't sign. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. I think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. We may never know why, but that doesn't change reality. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. You think that's why all these animals are dying here? Well, our shoreline has been receding, not to mention the daily contamination of the ocean. That's all you need to kill off sea and wildlife here, unless you know something I don't. I wonder if the Tabanga knows more than anybody here. Oh, Max, nobody even knows who brought the Tabanga here. It was likely stolen from the South Pacific by local fishermen. But I know what you're saying. There's a lot of energy here. I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Oh, Max. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. Kate is the sweetest student I've ever met at Blackwell. And they can be so cruel to each other. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Uh, no, no thanks, Miss Grant. I have my best friend and my parents, for now. I'm happy to hear that, Max. Just don't ever be afraid to talk to somebody, okay? I wish Kate had come to me. I had no idea what she was going through. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up. But that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. 
Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. I'm surprised, Max. I didn't think you and Nathan were exactly friends. No way. I just have to, uh, ask him a question. I saw him leaving campus looking angrier than usual. But to be honest, Max, Nathan hasn't been too well lately. You might know more about that than me. Too much. I can tell. You look like you have more than a question on your mind. Maybe asking Nathan isn't such a good idea right now. You hear me, Max? I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Look out for each other these days. Good to see you out and about, Max. coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. It's so lame they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Zach or Logan? Who knows? Bro's got a bro. Ugh, skunk weed and video games. I sense Hayden is near. Hello, Warren's room. Hawking and him make a good team. I can have a little fun with Warren for a change. I mean, he tries so hard and... I blew off his drive-in offer. Oh, am I overthinking this? I hope Warren doesn't take this the wrong way. But he's my friend. Oh, decisions. This can only be Nathan's room. Now I need to find Nathan's phone, or anything with clues. Nathan is way into this party. Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. Oh man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. I 
I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. That is so Chloe. Oh my God. Chloe. Nathan clearly has his fetish down. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max! Stop right there, Nathan! Make me, ho! <clears throat> Max! I got this! Get the fuck out of my face! <clears throat> you are so fucking dead! <clears throat> Get off me, bro! <clears throat> <clears throat> You like to hurt people, huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this, motherfucker! Get off me! Please! Please stop! He's down! Hey, come on! Stop. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, we have to go. Who's the bitch now? Chloe! Damn, Warren went full alpha on Nathan. And it was good. Damn, that was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For beating the shit out of Nathan Prescott? Dude, you rule. I don't know. I kind of went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Um, not yet. Uh... So, maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. 
I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole's gonna help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hit you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Those beached whales look so awful, but still so majestic. blows my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay, okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? You already did. Ah, oh, you fucking mental. I lost my keys, but I changed the lock. You better goddamn not be snooping around here. 
No, no, I'm not. I... I... Oh, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Shit. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. You snobby whores. Don't come into my home and judge me. That's why I go to church. And you want something from me? How about a blade up the ass, huh? Calm down, Frank. Let's just Don't talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch? Get it? Step the fuck back now! Oh my god! Gosh! Yeah, you actually shot me! I wasn't gonna hurt you! Oh, this fucking hurts! Oh, it hurts! Chloe! You shot him! I know! You're both fucking crazy! What do you want? We... we just want the code for your account book. Now! You're fine! Whatever! Just... just put the goddamn gun down! You already shot me, alright? There. Now leave me alone, alright? Just... just get out of my life! Do you want us to call an ambulance, or...? No, thanks. You know what? I'll manage somehow without the police. Oh, right. Let's bounce. Shit. This could have gone way worse, but Frank might be more dangerous to Chloe now. Yes, Max, you can change all this if you want. Chloe, are you okay? Sorry, I, I just keep thinking about shooting Frank in the leg. Please don't. You saved us. Frank is lucky. We have to keep moving forward. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. At least David was finally going after the right suspect. You need to get rid of these damn cameras, David. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. David should have done way more than take photos of Kate. Hmm. Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own messed up way. Does David know what's going on with Rachel, or is he just paranoid about everybody? Damn. 
I, I must have missed something. Of course, I'm a suspect. <laughs> Proving David sucks as a detective. Sorry. Looks like David was tracking somebody's car. Maybe even Nathan's. Good clue. Hey, Max, see if you can put together all those Rubik's clues. Just holla if you need any info while I go online to make sure we haven't missed anything. And that's all she wrote. Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating. As usual. There's Nathan dealing to the kids right out in the open. Hmm. Who does this car belong to? This looks like an expensive machine. Max, there's no logical link between those clues. Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? That's definitely Chloe's car. Who else was David tracking here? Oh yes, now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. Hey, Max, see if you can put together all those Rubik's clues. Just holla if you need any info while I go online to make sure we haven't missed anything. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. So weird how close they were. But Frank couldn't keep Rachel. Or protect her. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten.
There's no doubt she loved him in some way. So, what happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but I don't think he would hurt her. Frank is for sure the local dealer, but I, I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him. Right? Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. Yes, the game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with... I'm getting a contact high just reading this. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. Hmm. Huh. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. Okay, Max. Remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. Oh, there has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to unlock it. So busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? <sighs> There's a lot of numbers in here. If there is a dark room, we better find it. It's a good thing Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. Okay, Max, let's blow this code up and go home. Let's start hacking. Bad code.
yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. You locked it, dumbass. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. You locked it, dumbass. Bad code. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. You locked it, dumbass. This is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drama. God, Nathan. You're out of control. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal.
Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. So, this infamous party was the fourth. That beach is like Frank's main office. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. Somebody is stocking up on gas. Why? No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So he could be hiding clues there too. Not much out there. Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. Poor rich Nathan. Oh, you're treading water, Otter. Try again. If I can match one of the text messages and transactions with Frank, then I can find the exact location. Okay, this is just sad, Max. 